Oh cool, Lord Vader finally dropped into the game. That's nice. I'll probably unlock him in about a year or two, probably. And while I'm slow farming my Bad Batch, that's great. We've got Galactic Chase. Oh nice, Royal Guard got a touch up. I love, I've always loved that character. Yeah, alright. Uh, hold on. Hello there my fellow Holotable Heroes. Let's play Star Wars Galaxy of Heroes. Now you probably heard there was a big game update last night which brought uh, Lord Vader into the game. However, along with that, Master Kenobi's got a lot of buffs uh, built into his kit now, as well as some AI changes, so that you know all those cheese teams with Daka Zombie that we used with Supreme Leader Kylo Ren, uh, or Sif Eternal Emperor to beat Master Kenobi because without those cheese teams it was almost impossible to beat Master Kenobi with Commander Sokatano. Now initially when Master Kenobi launched there with Commander Sokatano, uh, I created like a guide how Kylo, Rey, Master Luke and Sith Eternal Emperor can all beat Master Kenobi. Now after the nerfs to Luke and John Skywalker I was not able to reliably win anymore with Rey teams um, it's not that I would lose, but I would just time out because we really re uh, with Ray you're kind of relying uh, on General Skywalker and Jedi Luke to do some big damage because the Ray is whirlwind because of all that bonus protection on Master Kenobi's teams. It doesn't really even one shot characters anymore, and her ultimate again one spread onto five targets literally does nothing. Um, so ever since that, I stopped using Ray. Uh, and then I was just using uh, Supreme Eater Kylo Ren with Daka Zombie. That team can pretty much auto play versus Master Kenobi. Uh, similar with Sith Eternal Emperor. However, because of the game update last night, changes that brought changes to Master Kenobi, as mentioned before, Kylo and Sith Eternal will have a really, really, really hard time now versus Master Kenobi. So for me, because I do not have Master Kenobi and Vader, Master Luke really is the last standing counter to Master Kenobi. So in this video I just want to show you the team that I'm using uh, to easily take down any sort of Master Kenobi during my climbing arena. So why we just don't go now here in arena and see if we can find ourselves a Master Kenobi. Um, let's have a look uh, how fast is Commander Ahsoka on this person here. 343 okay so Commander Ahsoka will be faster than my Jedi Knight Revan so we'll go for this one. So we got 343 speed on Commander Ahsoka. Uh, let's check out his General Kenobi. Um, he's got some protection on him and health, some speed as well. And then we've got also Padawan Ahsoka, of course, modded for offense. Some decent speed on her as well, actually. But to be honest, regardless of the speeds and mods, uh, you know, this master look team that I'm using can pretty much take on all the here uh, Master Kenobis I find in Arena. Quite a fast General Skywalker 292. And finally the man himself, Master Kenobi at 570. That's pretty much what everybody in Marina's got these days on Kenobi around 570 speed. So the team that we'll be going up against. Uh, so let me now bring up my team here. So this is the team I'm using with Master Luke's leadership. Now after the nerf to General Skywalker and Jedi Knight Luke Skywalker this team actually is performing more reliably and that's because uh, enemy General Skywalker can no longer increase cooldowns on Master Luke as well as reduce his max health. Because often you know when they would put a few hits on Master Luke because obviously he's taunting uh, then gas would re increase his cooldowns and I wouldn't be then able to use my specials for a couple of turns and that sometimes a little bit threw off their uh, this counter this it makes now makes it easier and because of Luke's leadership we don't really need a Jedi Luke and General Skywalker to do a whole lot of damage just because we'll be dealing uh, true damage uh, there uh, through the ability that we do get here um, with uh, Master Luke's uh, leadership. Now this is this true damage is based uh, on the protection that you have so there you go, it will deal true damage based on the 60% of uh, protection on your Master Look. Um, that's why I've, I've always actually had my Master Look modded this way, just to have it modded for max protection. Because the more protection we have, then obviously more damage we'll be able to do with this ability that we do get from his leadership. 
Now my look there is only Relic 6, so if you do have a Relic 7 or even Relic 8 uh, look, this will probably be even better uh, counter than for me, but still it works. Now in terms of looks ability, uh, the Grow Beyond, uh, it will uh, call other light side to assist, and then they will gain critical damage and advantage. And most importantly, this ability will increase cooldowns, which is pretty cool. So whenever you use this ability, you will want to target Master Kenobi just to slow down uh, his special attacks. And I do like with this ability to call um, either Jedi Knight Luke. So if I want to dispel some buffs uh, there on the enemy, because Luke, Jedi Knight Luke will do that on his basic. Or uh, I also like to call uh, my Grandmaster Yoda so he can then go ahead and spread advantage and critical damage up to all my allies. And then Eflux, obviously, you, you know, you do get some uh, there ability blocks sometimes if you are, if you get lucky. Now going once again back to the inherited teaching, so that's the ability you get from Luke's lead. Um, what we'll also do is, while we can't gain turn meter, however, we can recover some protection uh, on the target ally when we do call them for an assist. Uh, so you will want to use this on, you know, whoever is kind of on low protection side of things really just to top up uh, because you know master look they're taunting he will take the first first big hit from commander ahsoka tano so he'll probably want to keep calling luke for an assist uh, unless his days that is uh, that he can recover some protection okay so this is my master look here and then let's look at general skywalker now skywalker he's not here for damage anymore he doesn't do a whole lot of damage However, because of his unique, the chosen one, um, he's, he's still very useful to have uh, because enemies attacking out of turn won't be able to critically hit you. So that's why you have the original Skywalker, really. Um, so these guys, you know, otherwise they would just burn for you very, very fast. All those assists and attacks out of turn that they have with Master Kenobi. And as well, he kind of acts as your semi-tanky, really, because both Commander Sokatano and Master Kenobi uh, pretty much exclusively will be attacking Skywalker um, because Skywalker himself is quite tanky, quite durable. I have a lot of protection on him. He'll be able to tank those hits a lot for you. Up next, we got Jedi Luke Skywalker again. Jedi's will has been nerfed. <laughs> you will. I'm just laughing when I hit like for 30k on critical hit with Luke and um, as well General Skywalker. It just makes me sad sometimes. But anyway, on the positive side, Repulse now uh, will do damage three times on Master Kenobi, which is helpful in the end that you can just quickly finish him off. Um, up, and make sure more his mods actually. So I, you do need to have a good speed on Luke Skywalker as well, not too slow. So definitely 240 plus I would say for this to work well. And that's his offense there. And then we've got Grandmaster Yoda. Now he might have modded for offense uh, and for speed as well. Um, now all of his attacks uh, deal special offense, and funny enough, it's Yoda that's now the main damage dealer for the Jedi yet again. It used to be like that before Luke and Gas, but hey, Yoda got back his crown as the main damage dealer for the Jedi. And also on his basic there, whenever you do attack uh, somebody with less than 50% health, uh, you'll be getting offense up and defense penetration up, which of course you can then spread uh, amongst your team. So that will definitely help, and his battle meditation there, once you do have Zeta on him, uh, will give foresight, which is very, very important to keep spreading foresight whenever you can, uh, that you can avoid those big hits, especially the healing immunity one from Master Kenobi. And finally, Revan himself, <laughs> let me show you the speeds here, so he's at 325 uh, mine at the moment. And obviously he's there for direct focus, so you can go uh, get around the tone there from General Kenobi. Now that's it really, this is the team, the mods, and now let me hop into battle and just show you how this one goes. Um, you'll have to bear with me because these battles do drag on, just because of all that bonus protection the enemy has. Uh, but let's go, alright, they will go first, that's fine, that's how it is. And here, what I do is uh, I will increase cooldowns on Master Kenobi, call my Yoda to assist, so we can then go ahead and spread those buffs. There you go, Commander Soka Tano barely scratched my Master Luke. Here we can go ahead, swap turn meter with Jedi, Luke, with Jedi Knight Luke, stun everybody, spread those buffs. And because there you go, that's one with this uh, ability here, Inheritance Teachings, you will now want to call here. Uh, Master Luke to see just to start recovering his protection, then you will 
have to mark Ahsoka. Make sure to mark correct Ahsoka a couple of times by mistake. <laughs> I marked uh, Padawan Ahsoka instead of Commander Ahsoka. Let's see if we can get some ability blocks out there. Okay, and here I'll just call gas for an assist. It doesn't really matter because nobody's doing any damage again. Whenever you get a chance, call Master Luke just so he can recover some, keep recovering some protection. Uh, now let's do here an AoE. Put a hit there onto Ahsoka. Again, calling Master Luke for an assist. There we go. Keep calling Master Luke for assist. Then they get to go. Unfortunately, that'll happen often for me, getting days on Master Luke, which then you can't call him for an assist anymore, unfortunately. So instead, I will call Yoda here to an assist. And there we go. He got uh, offense up and defense penetration up. But Ahsoka Tano there, she will often dispel your buffs, which is slightly annoying. Okay, let's call Yoda now for an assist. And here comes the high ground. Alright, there we go. No, 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 stay off my Revan. That's the only danger here in this counter. If they suddenly decide to go after Revan, but it happens very rarely, to be honest. Uh, let's swap with Yoda again, get that daze off my look. And now we can again start calling Luke for an assist. And another mark online. Let's go after General Skywalker now. Uh, again, increasing cooldowns on Master Kenobi calling Yoda to assist so he gains some extra buffs that he can spread with the rest of the team. Alright, let's get Jedi Wheel now over on Yoda, because remember he's kind of our main damage dealer now from that point of view. Okay, ah, Ahsoka stealing my buffs. Um, nobody's got tenacity down, so landing any sort of buffs will be hard. And as you can see, my Revan's a bit low there on health and protection, let's just call him for an assist instead. Let's see if we can take out gas. Uh, no critical hits, unfortunately. Alright, get in look to an assist. There goes gas. So we got ultimate ready to go. So let's actually call now Revan for assist just to top up his protection a bit. There goes skill immunity on General Skywalker. That's why sometimes I do lose General Skywalker. Uh, but you know, we'll see if we can pull through here. Opening our ultimate already. Now let's call an assist actually on uh, Luke here on Kenobi, um, so we can get him out quickly, spread those buffs. All right, I'll just get Kenobi out of here, and now with Gas uh, out of the picture, we can actually critically hit when we attack out of turn. There goes Kenobi. All right, let's see how much damage Repulse can do here on Kenobi. Here we go. All right, okay, that was something, but he'll. He will heal right back up. I've got Foresight. We got their uh, damage immunity as well on um, Ahsoka. Let's actually now call Luke to an assist to dispel the buffs on uh, Master Luke. And I'll just keep calling our own Luke here for an assist. Again, a swap term meter. Oh, yeah, so you can see these battles do take a while. All right, okay. Keep calling here assists. Come on, there we go. Ah, they got the high ground again. Just keep calling. Get him out. Almost got him. Come on, Yoda. Let's call again. Assist over here. He's still standing. Come on. Got some counter attacks. All right, mark him and hit auto. So there you go, guys. Pretty straightforward team here. Uh, it works pretty well. I probably win nine out of ten times with this team. Sometimes they get lucky and then take out they take out my Revan, and then obviously if they do that, then you can't anymore get around taunts from that point of view. And there you go, guys. That's how I started now climbing uh, in arena here with Master Luke. Uh, since they released the update before, I was just using Supreme Dark Color and Cheese Team. He thought to play, and most times it won. But now it's again back to manually playing these battles. As you can see, they do take four minutes. Uh, because obviously I was a little bit explaining while I'm playing, it, it took a little bit longer, so I was there, you know, close to 5 minute mark, but on average it takes 4 minutes, and you know, I have to do this 5-6 times a day, so <laughs> it takes a lot of time to climb now. But anyway guys, hope you found this video useful and helpful, showing if you do have Master Luke, how you can easily climb versus all of these Master Kenobi teams. We'll see once Lord Vader hits, how this will then affect uh, the arena meta, but until then, have fun, enjoy life. And may the RNG be with you, my friends.